It's time for our Wednesday devotional. Last week, we were privileged to have the missionaries who were to be in our missions conference to share devotional thoughts with each of us, and I was blessed by every one. I'm thankful for that. But now it's my turn, and I'm glad you're listening today. I remember a time when I was young. <laughs> That's a good memory, isn't it? I remember a time when I was young when a kid in high school got a new car. It wasn't a new car. It was new to him. Uh, it was a used car, but it was a pretty good used car. He drove it to school, of course, and in the parking lot, he wanted to show it off and told everybody what it was and where he'd gotten it and maybe even what engine it had. I don't remember. But I remember some of the guys looking over there and said, man, that is now, what they meant was, not that it was a bad car or an evil car, but it was cool. It was really a good car. And that was just the way back in the 1960s, sometimes we, we expressed that. It was bad. Now, that thought occurred to me recently when I was reading through the book of Isaiah and read in Isaiah chapter 5, a verse that not only reminded me of that incident back so long ago, but it also reminded me of what's taking place today. Frighteningly, many people are calling that which is good evil. The Lord was pronouncing a number of woes or curses or judgments when he said in Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20, Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil. Now, I don't think this is a condemnation of the way teenagers talked in the 1960s when they said, man, that's bad, and, and they were talking about something was good or was cool. But I believe it's what's happening today. In fact, I may do an entire message on this because there's so much to be said. But let me give you two or three examples of people or situations where good is being called evil and evil is being called good. Think about our society when today, uh, if a boy, maybe he's not so good in sports, but he wants to play sports, so he begins to identify himself as a girl. And then he wants to play girl sports because he's self-identified as a girl. In some places, He's allowed to do so. He's allowed to play on the girls' team, and whereas he may not be outstanding on the boys' team, he can really make a big hit on the girls' team. He's a boy that says he's a girl. He's not telling the truth. Is that good? Is it good to lie about anything, especially about something like that? No, it's a lie. And yet some people will be upset and even uh, very bothered if you try to say that what he's saying is not true. They're calling evil good. They're calling that which is not true good. It ought to be called bad. Lying is bad. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. When I was young, I learned about morality. And I learned that sex was for a man and woman who were married to each other. Today, sex is allowed, is promoted between almost anyone. In fact, in California, they're working on a law that would make it legal for even young teenagers to be involved in immorality and calling it good. And if you condemn that or say it's bad, then you, they say, have the problem. That's wrong, yet society, in many cases, is calling it good. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. There are so many illustrations. What about the rioters and looters and what's taking place in some of our big cities even today? It's wrong to destroy somebody else's property. That's wrong. Uh, but yet some politicians are saying, oh, that's just an expression 
of their frustration. That's an expression of their civil rights. That's an expression of their speech rights and right to speak. Oh no, no, that's wrong. It's wrong to tear down other people's things and businesses and steal that which does not belong to you. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Now this is not new. In fact, I'm remembering a time in the book of Acts chapter 5 when a man and woman, a married man and woman, Ananias and Sapphira, uh, had sold a piece of land and what they said to the church was, we're going to give all this money, all the profit to the church. Oh, that's good. Oh, they were praised. They accept, expected praise. And yet when it came time to actually give it, they were dishonest. They held back some of that. And they weren't condemned for holding back. They were condemned for lying. Once again, they were wanting something that was bad to be called good. Lying's not good. Lying's bad. And the Bible says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Let's be careful today. Let's be careful going forward that we tell the truth. Let's be careful that we don't look at something that is bad and call it good. Or something that's good and call it bad. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Let's go forward today as those who are honest. Not only in the sight of God, in the sight of man. God bless you.